feeling attached to a home you want or need to sell? That's understandable. We make memories where we live. We raise our families. We experience life's ups and downs in our homes. But how do you leave a house that has been your home base for so many memories? Today, we're going to discuss seven ways to help you say goodbye to a house that you've made a home. Be sure to watch until the end so you hear about my favorite way to move on from a cherished home. So, let's go. Hi, I'm Sharon Hallinan, your North Idaho ambassador, reporting from Rathrum, Idaho. I am reminded of a client who lived happily in his home with his wife for decades, but made a decision to sell because his mom was ill and needed to care for her in another state. He wanted to be there for his mom full time. That's admirable. The couple made the heartfelt decision to sell, not because the home didn't fit their lifestyle anymore, but because family came first. We toured the house, they described how they lived and enjoyed the house, how the grandkids' room was all set up for their visit from out of state, and how they grew plants in their greenhouse, and how they enjoyed family barbecues in the backyard. I know it was difficult for them to say goodbye. Each of us creates different memories that make our house our home. When it's time to move on, sometimes it is difficult to let go. So what are some ways to say goodbye to your home so you can move on? Some of these ideas and the inspiration for the video comes from theuntangledgrief.com if you're interested in reading more about this topic. So here are the seven ways to say goodbye to your home. Number one, capture the memories. This includes taking new pictures of the house as is, as well as in its unfurnished state. This can include hiring a professional photographer to capture the memories or simply taking out your cell phone and snapping some pictures. I recommend also transferring any non-digital photos to digital. There are many companies such as Legacy Box that will transfer all your old images from various media like VHS tapes, slides, black and white photographs, you name it. They will transfer it all to a USB storage device that is easily moved and accessed for future use. One idea is to memorialize the place you called home for so long as to hire an artist to draw or paint a picture. Sometimes realtors, such as myself, send an artistic image of the front of the home as a closing gift to clients. This provides an elegant keepsake, which reminds you of your former home without taking up too much space in your next home. If you're enjoying this content, please take a moment to tap the like button or even subscribe if you like. Okay, number two. Post an Irish style wig for the home. You don't have to be Irish for this one, even though my husband is 100% Irish. The Irish tradition combines mourning and merrymaking and often goes on for days. So celebrate the home for a day, a weekend, or even host an open house for a week with your close friends and family and swap stories about the good times and maybe share some of the challenging times in the home. Create one last set of memories in the home that you will cherish. It may provide some of the closure you're looking for. Take pictures and video to memorialize the event. Those who attend will experience a mixture of emotions, but the event will be unique and memorable and will hopefully help you move on to the next chapter in your life. Number three, take a little something from the house. Small keepsakes that remind you of some of the beautiful events, no matter how small, can be a great way to honor your home and the life you lived in that home. Perhaps you planted some prized irises and you can divide up some of those bulbs and replant them in your next garden. Maybe you had a custom made address plaque that you wish to keep. Or maybe there is a unique light pole that your kids hung in their room when they were younger. Whatever you do, make sure it's done in a way that doesn't cause damage to the property and done way before those listing pictures are taken. For objects that are attached to the property, you generally need to stay attached when you list and sell a home. Number four, leave something behind. Many people choose this option where you leave something in the home that is sort of your mark upon the property. For example, maybe you left handprints in the concrete when it was first poured, or maybe you carved the names of your family members into an established tree in the backyard. Some people even bury a little time capsule to be found years later in the garden. Number five. Create a memory book. Take some of your favorite photos of family and friends enjoying the house and make a coffee table book. There are many services such as Shutterfly, which is now offered through Costco.com, that will make the photo book from your uploaded photos and mail you a keepsake. 
You can reminisce and relive those experiences whenever you pick up the book and review its pages. Number six, say goodbye to one room at a time. Go to each room of the house. Reflect on the best memories of each space. Pick pictures of areas in each room that tell a story. Maybe you mark the kids' heights each year on the wall of the pantry. Capture that in a photograph. Tell stories with loved ones in the space. Perhaps you might even want to make an audio recording of those stories on your phone. And don't forget the outdoor spaces. Maybe you had a porch swing that you enjoyed in late summer as you were watching the kids play with sidewalk chalk. Share the memories that make you smile. Close each door symbolically and physically as you say your farewells. Okay, as promised, my favorite way to say goodbye to a beloved home is take some time. Number seven, take time and take a step back. Evaluate the decision to move from all angles. Is it truly the right move for this time in your life? Will the move serve your future needs? If the move is a financial decision, if you talk to experts about your options, perhaps you can get a reverse mortgage to help you stay in the home. Or perhaps you can rent a room to generate additional income. Maybe you might want to rent out your entire home and stay with friends or family for a time while you weigh your options. When you do make that final decision, hopefully you have accepted that the decision is the right one for you for living your best life. If you haven't already, please remember to tap the like, subscribe, and notification buttons. If you have any further questions, feel free to reach out by phone, text, or email. As a seniors real estate specialist with Next Home Corner Realty, I enjoy helping people every day with their real estate needs.